I learned that Kimilar stole the blueprints for Drebbel's submarine and built a fully functioning prototype on his own. He planned to use the submarine as a platform for the illusion of the Flying Dutchman in order to discredit the minister and create panic in the city. He converted the submarine and hired smugglers to act as ghostly sailors to provide an additional dose of terror in the street. Could my own nephew be behind all this chaos? Resorting to crime to become a minister of all things? I just can't believe it. I got here as fast as I could. What? The chief of police is behind this madness. Well, that puts the rest of the force squarely on our list of people not to trust. I have a friend in the prosecutor's office that we can go to. I'll take the evidence to him. I'm so sorry for my foolish nephew. Please stop him before he hurts anyone else. People are saying that the Flying Dutchman is on the water. We need to get to the pier to apprehend Kimela. People are saying that the Flying Dutchman is on the water. We need to get to the pier to app- We'll need a boat to get out to the Dutchman. Someone in the tavern must have one we can borrow. Hey, nobody comes near the Flying Dutchman. You and your girl better get out of here. Agatha, hide! I'll go after him while you take care of the fire. Got away, but we have more important matters to attend to. Kimelar is more important, and we still need that ship. Let's find out whose ship is docked here. We might be able to get it easily if we tell them we're going after the ghosts of Amsterdam. I'll watch the building while you're inside. Let's avoid any more surprises. Good evening, miss. I'm sorry, but this tavern is accessible by invitation only. I am, however, willing to make an exception. If you find my parrot Sebastian, he got scared by the explosion and flew off. He could still be nearby. I haven't seen any other bandits around. An invitation-only tavern out here. That's odd. Well, we better start looking for that parrot unless you have a better idea. I'll check around back while you look here. That thing could be anywhere. Have you found Sebastian?
Sebastian. Sebastian, what's his favorite? Have you found Sebastian? Sebastian! I was so worried. Thank you so much. I forgot to introduce myself before. I'm Adrian, the barkeeper. Please, come in. Can I take your order? Oh, here to borrow a ship, eh? I'd be happy to lend mine to you. If you'd be willing to do me a small favor, that is. We'll need tools to repair the damage from the explosion earlier, and I can't leave my thirsty customers for too long. I'd appreciate it if you could grab them up and bring them back here. Take this key. Everything I need should be in the warehouse. Did you... Did you bring the tools? Did you bring up for a game of Shulin? No time? I understand. But I'm here if you change your mind. Up for a game of Shulin? Did you bring Did you bring the tools? Thanks so much. 
I should be able to fix the chandelier now. I've been thinking about that boat, and I'm thinking I'll need one more thing before I can let you use it. See, we're almost out of food here, and I still can't leave my extremely thirsty customers. The shop outside should have everything on the list, though. Off you go! Up for a game of shoe? Thanks again. I apologize for the excessive requests, but as you remember, I'm unable to leave my parched guests for even a moment. Lucky for you, I only need one more favor. See that guy at the table? I played him in Shulin and lost badly in a game where I wagered my best tavern trophy. You can consider my ship yours if you win it back from him. Take this. It will help you find the chips you need. Care for a game of Shulin? You will take home this shiny trophy if you win. A few chips went missing after the last game, but find them, come back, and we'll play. Care for a game of Shulin? Care for a game of Shulin? managed to win my trophy back yet? Care for a game of shoot? You were a worthy opponent. Thanks for playing. The trophy is yours. You got my trophy back. Here are the keys to the ship, as promised. I better get back to my many eager customers. Looks like you've handled everything beautifully. Nice work. I'll take the keys and we'll set course for the Flying Dutchman. cabin. Kimilar must be close. What's this strange passage? This is unusual. I'll take a look. Aryan? Aryan? Are you okay? Do you and your friends seriously think you're going to win? This submarine is going down and you're going with it. Take a deep breath. Aryan. He's alive, but his breath is weak. I should check his pulse.
Aryan's heart has stabilized, but I need to wake him up. Ammonia would be a big help right now. What happened? The last thing I remember is Kimela messing with the steering to keep the submarine submerged. I saw him stash the logbook in the vent. We'll need it to fix whatever he did with the steering. Take this valve. I'll need a few more minutes to recover. I'll dock the submarine and we'll deal with Kimela before it's too late. I'm going to the deck. Kimela couldn't have gotten far. Kimela, freeze! <laughs> what are you going to do, detective? Give it up! You're under arrest, Kimilar. You'll enjoy a nice long stay in prison. And justice prevails once again. I can't help but wonder what the future holds. Well, look what we have here. Police Chief Kimilar ended up in prison and got what he deserved, as it should be. The Flying Dutchman has been turned into a museum. 
They even offer tours. I wonder if they offer a discount for return visitors. The submarine has been lauded as a breakthrough in underwater exploration and colonization. Travel must be thrilled. The case is closed. Time to hit the road.